beings. The bomb released an avalanche that has carried Flash and the others to destruction. There's no hope for any of them. No, there isn't. We must blast Ming's men from the skies. Alive. He won't be for long in this atmosphere. There's hope for all of us. Let's make him as comfortable as we can. That avalanche took care of the activities of Flash Gordon and his party. I may be able to get Dr. Zarkov on this radio. To whom do you hope to talk? I must inform Princess Aura of what has happened. Doctor, look. The Ming ship is returning. Have the ship ready to take off at once. Yes, sir. All the workmen in Baron ship. Isn't that a ship taking the air? Another one still on the ground. Looks like one of ours. They must have stolen it when they left Mongo. We'll destroy them both. Alan, take after that ship that just took the air. We're going to crash head on, Zarkov? Oh, no, we're not. I know our enemies, they'll give way. And when they do, fire on their gun ports. Yes. They mean to crash into us. Turn aside! of that ship is a master. Our number two ray cannon has been disabled, sir. They're coming at us from the other side. to perform. They're not following us. Just as well. With our radio and ray guns destroyed. You're returning to Mongo? Yes. We must report what's happened. Yeah. Take the control. Yes, sir. Fly low over the scene of the avalanche. Right, sir. chasm directly in the path of the avalanche. They may have fallen into it. It's not impossible. We have to land and explore it. I'll radio Baron ship to bring them in. Yes, Flash. This is Zarkov. Dr. Zarkov? Dr. Zarkov. Hello? Where are you? At the bottom of a deep chasm, near the Polarite Peak. Are the others all right? Baron's hurt pretty badly, sir. But the cold is unbearable. Keep up your courage. 
We have landed our ship close to the chasm. I'll organize a rescue party immediately. That's fine, Dr. Zarkov. But hurry, we can't hold out much longer. See that the men are thoroughly insulated, for we shall encounter extreme cold. Dr. Zarkov is organizing a rescue party. They'll be here soon. Do you think they'll, they'll ever reach us? With Dr. Sarkov leading them? Sure they will. We shoot magnesium torches to everyone. Yes, sir. Do you think they're in that chasm we flew over, Doctor? If they're not, we'll never find them alive. I just heard them on the radio. So I'm sure we located the Polarite deposit. I hope so. But much as we needed to combat the effects of Ming's attack upon the world, we cannot start a mine yet. Now why not, Zarkov? What is more important? Your health. I must first be sure that none of you will suffer from exposure. Oh, we're all in good shape at Baron. That remains to be seen. I want you all to order your cabins and rest for 24 hours. I'll keep you under close observation. Yes, and in the meantime, that Ming ship you drove off will come back prepared to wipe us out. Well, we'll have to face that emergency when it arises. The ship has been badly damaged. What bothers me is the report we must make. Ming is merciless toward those who fail. We haven't failed. Flash Gordon has been destroyed. But Ming's orders were to take him alive. I will report it at once. Your Majesty, the ship from the Phrygian expedition has just landed. What is that report? There is none. The radio must have been disabled. Have the two officers in charge brought to me at once.
Sire, we've destroyed the Zarkov expedition. But, but what? We were driven off by the other ship. No doubt the superior handling of the other ship defeated you. However, the fact that you crippled their expedition compensates some. Adjutant, see that His Majesty gets this message at once. Owing to your partial failure, there can be no reward for the capture of Flash Gordon and Zarkov. A message, sire, from Radio Officer Tekla. What is the nature of it? It reads, Sire, I have just intercepted a secret radio message on an ultra-low wave band. It was from Dr. Zarkov to somebody I could not identify, stating that his entire party is safe and will start mining Polarite at once. Sire, we saw Flash Gordon and his party go to destruction. Return to your radio. Learn with whom Dr. Zarkov is communicating. Yes, sire. You bungling fools. You were both to play an important part in my subjugation of the universe. If Zarkov obtains Polarite, then my death dust is useless. Polarite totally neutralizes its effects. There must be some mistake, sire. They were disguised as Phrygians, and we saw Enough. them. You know the fate of those who fail. Has Dr. Borgia reported yet about my annihilators? Yes, sire. The test was most successful. Uh, excellent, excellent. With my annihilators, my mechanical men, I'll conquer Phrygia, who has dared to aid my enemies, who has defied me because it possessed Polarite in an unlivable climate. But, sire, they must be controlled by humans. They will be remotely controlled. I'll give you one more chance. My annihilators are walking bombs. You are to take them, return to Phrygia, and accomplish that which you previously failed to do. This time we shall not fail, sir. But the expedition must be destroyed, with two exceptions. Zarkov and Flash Gordon. As a prisoner, Zarkov will be of great use to me in my conquest of the universe. And he will destroy his friend Flash Gordon. When shall we start, sir? Just as soon as you've been instructed in the use of my annihilators. We have mined enough pull right to begin my work of combating Ming's purple death. Let's get some of it to the ship. Okay, Doctor. From what I've learned, we can control the annihilators from the ship with that instrument. Certainly. We couldn't live exposed to the Phrygian atmosphere. Well, how do Flash Gordon and the Earth people manage it? Probably some invention of that genius Zarkov. No wonder Ming wants him alive. All right, boys, that's enough. Start loading up. Look, I can see them. They're mining at the base of that hill. Get the annihilators ready at once. Yeah. Tyler, man the ship behind that hill. Then they won't see us until the explosive iron men are marching against them. I hear the motor of a spaceship. I can't locate the direction. Well, perhaps it's Dr. Zarkov warming up ours. Doesn't sound like our motor. A big ship is just landing beyond that hill. Close to the Polarite mine. The mean to attack us. The doctor, without your contra-free solution, they couldn't leave the ship and survive. Not unless they have some similar protection. Get as close to them as you can and find out what they're up to. Yes, sir. The annihilators are all in line and they work perfectly. I'll march them around the hill to the pit where Flash Gordon and his body are working. Oh, 
Flash, what are those awful creatures? I never saw anything like them. They must be from another planet. But they're not human, Dale. They're mechanical. Probably operated by someone we can't see. This ray gun ought to stop them. Why, they're invisible. Come on, fellas, we'll stop them. Come back, you fools. You can't fight them. They'll crush you. I may as well show them they haven't got a chance. They're walking bombs, operated by a remote control. Oh, they've got us trapped here. Iron men have attacked Flash and the others at the mine. Iron men? You mean robots? Mechanical men? They seem to be. Come on! Flash, I need our help! Back to the wall, quickly, everybody! You've got to. It's our only chance. Another failure. My lives are forfeit if I don't. 